You need to stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doug. The hell it's not. You think we're pals and you know me? You're some elitist prick with a fancy education who could pick me apart? It's not like that. The fuck it isn't. You think you're the reason Doug was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? Stop thinking about yourself, man. You feel guilty. Like you killed any chance of a miracle for Duck when you ran away from Sean Green. There's no room for that shit. This isn't about you. It's about a woman back there who needs her husband and a boy who needs his dad. Boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No. It should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Lee's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine.
Cat! Cat! Gotcha! Why? Cat! Honey! Oh, fucking God! <laughs> Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. said what chuck say that what happened to duck would happen to me the fuck he did swear sorry i really took some sense into it don't be mad hey how you doing i don't care what reasons you had for doing it no reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. If y'all keep going on like this, then that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. I'm not a barber. It ain't gotta be styled. Jesus. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before Walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. Seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. 
Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. I'm sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. I sent the kid, you know? I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. I got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. Be safe up here. You betcha. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure Cat would be uh, okay with you, so forget it. Okay. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty? Can you just leave me alone? 